Hey guys, it's Tanya. I am coming back to show you um, how I make my um, vintage tape because I kind of got um, quite a few people asking me what I use and how I do it. So right now, all this is is parchment paper and I just have a sheet of parchment paper and I am using transparent tape. Um, I have right here. So um, I think I got this from the Dollar Tree. So it's not really a special brand or anything like that. And then I am using um, Tim Holtz alcohol inks. I um, Tim Holtz Ranger alcohol inks, I guess. Um, I am using latte and I am using ginger. Those are my favorite ones. I'm sorry, I don't know if you can see that. Ginger, there you go. And then this one is latte. Okay, so these are my... Um, so all we're going to do is take your tape and you're going to put it in strips like that. And that's how I do mine. Right. So I just take it and I just literally put it in strips down here. Okay, so I'm going to do that. Okay, guys, I know you guys cannot um, see where I put the tape at, but I put it just in long strips all the way down. Um, I left this blank because no no apparent reason. I just didn't do it all the way. So what I do, and there's no order. I just do um, whichever one I pick up first. So there's no no order to this, guys. Um, so I'm going, but I did pick up the ginger first. So I'm going to go, and I'm just going to do it just like this, right? Just squeezing it out, making sure I get it the right one you know meaning making sure I'm getting actually on the tape and not the paper okay and then I'm going to take the latte and I'm just going to go over it like that squeeze just like that really easy no um, all right so now we have that then I'm going to take my sponge and I'm going to dab it and did I tell you I got this sponge? These are makeup sponges that I get from the Dollar Tree. Okay. So I'm just dabbing it like that. Just like that, right? And you see how pretty it looks? Doesn't it look pretty? So, um, when you get it off your hands, because... You can wear gloves if you're if you're conscious about that. <laughs> I'm really not, but um, so it's really really easy, and you just let it dry. And usually I just let it dry on the parchment paper um, because I just take off the ac excess ink like that, let it dry. Um, I let it dry on the parchment paper because that's what I use to hold it. So um, here's another one. Once it's dry, this is what it looks like, right? And as you can see, I've used this parchment paper quite a lot. Um, and this is what my tape looks like. And that's how I make the vintage looking tape. So I will show you real quick um, on a project that I'm going to show you in a next video. Um, right here, you see that? That is exactly what it looks like. And it comes out looking so nice when you put it up against something, right? So, that is it guys. Um, so I hope this answered all your questions about the tape that I love and I use all the time. Um, if you have any questions, please comment below and I will do my best to answer them. And um, if you're not already subscribed, I would love to have you subscribe to my channel. God bless guys. Bye.